Oh, all right, here we go. Another rebuild project. Picked up this nice minty 2008 Dodge Ram. Check this out. I got a couple things. One, yeesh, look at that bed folded up. But if we look down in here, I think we're going to have a bumper and a bed, and we should be able to straighten out this frame horn. Uh, it's very slightly tweaked over, so we'll just heat it, bend it back, and reinforce it, I think. But uh, yeah, going to need a bed, but I noticed this one I got back. Check this out. It's got a nice little liner in this one. This will make your butthole pucker right here, man. I'll tell you. So we got this. I got this thing back this morning. Picked it up. And uh, look at this. My front strap broke. I actually heard it. And I didn't think that's what that was. And I just kept driving. So I drove quite a ways like that. Good thing I had the parking brake on. And uh, sometimes it pays to be lucky. Hi, yeah, yeah, sometimes I'm dumb. But uh, yeah, for now on, there will be a chain to go with all ratchet straps. So I'm not feeling exactly 100% today, but we're gonna go ahead and push through. We got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna get this thing unloaded. Uh, I'm gonna jump start it. They, are, they always come with a dead battery from the auction, man. I don't know what it is out there, but I'll get it unloaded. We'll get it put up there. And then I got some other work to do, but we're gonna go pick up some parts and hopefully we can get this thing done in a day or two and cleaned up and uh, test driving. I gave her a little jump start, dude. She drove herself right off the trailer. So, real quick before we send uh, the old guy out for parts, I'm gonna pull this battery uh, and we're gonna pick up a new battery. And uh, look at this other thing I noticed. Uh, looks like they just replaced the AC compressor on it. So it's got a brand new AC compressor, 92,000 miles. And I mean, they like zip ties, but who doesn't like zip ties? So I'm not complaining about that. The front ends of these Dodges always weird me out, man, because they look so crooked. Like it's just been smashed in the front, but that's just how they're made. They just kind of run at an angle. It's weird, but uh, yeah, time to get time to get to work. Let's see if we can't do this in 48 hours. Um, I'm gonna pull that battery. I'll send that with him, and then I'll jump underneath here, pull these bed bolts. I did a bed removal video on one of these trucks before, so I'm not gonna record any of that. But uh, if there's anything interesting I find along the way, I'll definitely pick up. Uh, I'll definitely show you how we fix the mount over here for the bumper but uh otherwise here look at this even the tailgates survived so that is freaking wild um and i'm pretty sure this this liner is an insert so i think i can save the liner and move it over to the new bed because it looks really clean and nice so this is this is really playing out well oh all right so i wasn't out here last night uh my stomach was all twisted up man i ended up going in so nobody filmed anything but they cut this bed off and got it all disassembled, ready for the new one. And check this out. The theme of this truck remains. Sometimes it pays to be lucky. That frame horn is completely undamaged. Um, it literally just bit the hitch. So uh, I don't know what side of this hitch it would have been. It would have been this side. Uh, that was the hitch bracket. He bent it back a bit, but we got a new hitch coming anyway that's undamaged. Um, and there's the mount for it. So you'll see that's where it coiled over. The frame rail itself, perfectly straight. Look at that hat. Come on. So now we got a new bed coming today. It'll be here this afternoon sometime. So we will get that bed slapped on and get that new bumper installed. And this puppy will be ready for some test driving. Come on. A few moments later. All right, look at that. The hitch assembly bolted right onto this puppy picked up a new silver bed it's kind of a hunk of shit but it'll work uh we're gonna take these stupid rails off there for sure because those look real dumb what? um I like the rails I like the rails go nice with the side steps they match you, you have bad taste all right so we're gonna put this bed on now Ooh bed is on tailgate is on we pulled the crummy bed liner out of here this thing actually cleaned up really nice so now we're going to put the mopar brand one in and get the rear bumper installed but this thing is coming together now hey you want to show them real quick what you had to do with the tail lights so the beds are the same what 2002 to 2009 i believe but the tail lights are different so the junk will tell you it's the same but this mounting hole drops down to about where his finger is so you have to take this out carefully and drill a hole lower what did you find on the other bed? The exact same thing. Yeah, the, that's what they do. Fact, the grommet was in the non-used hole. Yeah. And the grommets were gone out of the used hole. 
which is why it had all the goofy. Oh, that's tape hilarious! The that means from the factory they just punched lower punched holes hole. and used the same bed. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty slick. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this slapped in. This thing is coming together nicely, man. All right, old, old guy wanted to show this. So if you get one of these drop-in bed liners, when you go to install them, they slip under the bed rails. So the best thing to do is lift it up in the middle to pop it under, like that. Oop, did you get it? Yeah, got that one. Yeah. I'm gonna get the other side real quick. And voila, it makes it easy to push. It obviously shrinks it whenever you lift it there. Um, felt like that was pretty intuitive, but he did not. There we go. And it's in there. Look at that. Uh, so now this um, bumper will get mounted and this tail eight, I'll go pick one up tomorrow or he will. And then this puppy will be ready to test drive and get an oil change. Oh man, this thing's coming together quick. Here it is, oil change, mobile one. And old oil's out. Uh, one thing that I did notice that uh, didn't notice before missing a fog light over here and this other fog light on this side is a little jank so i got a set of fog lights coming as well they'll be here monday and that is the final touch to this thing but goodness did this truck turn out good sometimes you get lucky at the auctions i got it no tears in the seats clean interior clean everything obviously texas truck no rust looks good underneath heck yeah Brand new Cooper tires. So this is a good find. A nice this is a good find here, man. Oh, daggum, looky there. This puppy turned out nice. Now, the bed could have been a little better quality. She's got some scratches and some dings on the side. Um, but the driver door also has a dent in it that we're not going to fix. I'd rather keep the price down for folks um, instead of getting too deep into this bad boy. But I mean, overall, this is nice. Oh, we check this out. Finally got the fog lights in today. Got here about 15 minutes ago. This bad boy is done and done. I guess we should make sure they work. I alive from supercharged. Oh, I think we got fog lights. Bam and bam. New fog lights are in. She is ready to sell. It's not perfect. She's got some scratches on the bed. She's got some some faded paint here on the front bumper but you're looking at a rust free 94,000 mile truck that I can sell for less than 10 grand so that's that when rebuild complete trucks going up for sale uh, if you're in Texas and you're interested or heck even if you're somewhere else you want to ship it uh, throw something in the comments or message me and uh, yeah she is for sale